Hi guys, this is Jared here from Simpler Album. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, basically name your files and then uploading it to us using the FTP client rather than using the upload feature in our blog. Okay, so let's get started. I've created a test album on my desktop. Uh, just let me double click on that and this is basically the contents of the uh, folder. Um, I've got 10 spreads in here so I, uh, you should name your spreads as a 001, 002, 003 like I, I mentioned in my previous video. Um, up to your 10th spread as a 010. Don't name your spread as 0010 for your 10th spread. Name it as 010 so your 11th spread will be 011, your 12th spread will be 012 and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, uh, just a uh, quick mention, if you're sending uh, just uh, loose images to us, as in um, images that you've taken at a wedding or a function or an event and you'd like us f uh, to design that into albums for you, just name them the same and uh, we'll please, we'll design the album in the same sequence as well, okay? Okay, so um, you need to actually download the FTP client from uh, filezilla.org or you can actually follow uh, the link that's in our blog in the upload page which would take you to the filezilla page homepage um, and download the filezilla client and once that's done uh, you basically get this program which is the filezilla client okay it's an awesome program it's free uh, what you gotta do is just click on uh, this little icon right there and click on new site and your host would be ftp t-i-e-d-k-n-o-t-s dot com Oops. that's ftp dot tight knots dot com uh, your port will be 21 uh, just leave the server type as ftp logon type as normal um, for your user ID and your password um, you can get that from us um, if you like to upload your images using uh, FTP client rather than the website and we'll give you a user ID and a password okay so in this case I've created a uh, an account um, I called it sample upload oops at typenots.com password will be sample okay and just click connect so you can see it's going in so yeah this is basically once oops there's something in there. let me just delete that quickly okay here we go okay so this is basically what you would see when you're uh, when you've logged on um, what you should do is name your folder to the uh, album reference, uh, the same one that you've keyed in when you ordered your album from us. So in this case, let's put in Jack and Jill 2010. Okay, um, to upload it, it's pretty simple. You can just drag it and just drop it in there. And that's it. You can look at the progress that's going on. If you get disconnected, you can always resume just by dragging and dropping it over uh, again and, and then resume and from where you left off. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's a pretty cool uh, program and it's free. Um, a little side note though, um, we check our servers on a daily basis, probably twice a day. And uh, what we will do is that when we've uh, downloaded these images or your spreads uh, onto um, uh, for them to be printed, we would actually rename them as done. Yep. So if you were to go into your FTP client the next day and you uh, you notice that it's, uh, there's a word done before the album reference, then you know we've actually downloaded it and yeah, you, it, oh by the way, you're not supposed to make any changes to it. So yeah, that's it. Thanks guys.